In recent years, Egypt has been the place of several exciting archaeological discoveries, including the pyramid of a previously unknown ancient Egyptian queen. But one of the most intriguing finds is the tunnel beneath the ancient temple of Tapuziris Magna. This tunnel, which is over a kilometer long and located 13 meters underground, may lead to the lost tomb of Cleopatra, the last ruler of Ptolemaic Egypt. Stay tuned to find out more. Kathleen Martinez, an archaeologist at the University of Santo Domingo, has been searching for Cleopatra's tomb for nearly 20 years. She believes that the Temple of Tapasiris Magna, what is located on the outside of Alexandria and dedicated to the god of the dead, Oseras, is the most likely place where the queen can rest. Her belief is based on a series of clues and over a decade of research. After a lot of ignored emails, Martinez finally secured a meeting with archaeologist Zahi Hawass, who was Egypt's Minister of Antiquities at the time. She convinced him to give her two months to excavate the site, and work has been ongoing since 2004. The recent discovery of the tunnel is the most convincing evidence yet that Martinez is on the right track. The tunnel is a geometrical wonder, similar to the Eupolinos Tunnel on the Greek island of Samos, which is considered one of the engineering marvels of antiquity. Martinez and her team have uncovered a complex of tunnels leading to the Mediterranean Sea and sunken structures. They have also found a religious center with three sanctuaries, a sacred lake, over 1,500 objects, busts, statues, gold figures, and a huge collection of coins depicting Alexander the Great, Queen Cleopatra, and the Ptolemies. One of the most interesting discoveries is the part of the tunnel that is submerged in water. Its exact purpose is currently unknown, but the study of these underwater structures will be the next stage in the search for Cleopatra's tomb. Martinez believes that Cleopatra may have chosen to bury her husband, Mark Antony, in the temple to reflect the myth of the god Osiris, husband of Isis, and that Cleopatra was considered the human incarnation of the goddess Isis. Excavations have also uncovered mummies with golden tongues and a cemetery containing Greco-Roman mummies buried facing the temple, which supports the theory that a royal tomb was built in the area. A bust believed to depict Cleopatra and 22 coins with her face have also been found. In addition to the tunnel, the latest find includes two alabaster statues from the Ptolemaic era, one of which appears to be a sphinx, as well as ceramic vessels and pots. The part of the tunnel that is underwater is thought to be the result of ancient earthquakes that affected the region between 320 and 1303 BC. These natural disasters may have led to the collapse of Tapasiris Magna. Excavations so far reveal that the temple was dedicated to Isis, which Martinez says is another sign that the lost tomb is nearby, as well as tunnels under the sea. Now Martinez says she is at the beginning of a new journey, the underwater excavations ahead. The discovery of an unknown ancient Egyptian queen's pyramid has rewritten what we know about the history of the civilization. The team of archaeologists found coffins, mummies, artifacts, and a series of interconnected underground tunnels at the site located about 20 miles south of Cairo called Saqqara. The queen's name, Nate, is not mentioned in any historical records yet, and the team has much work to do to learn more about her reign and history. The recent discovery also revealed that the coffins and mummies likely belonged to some of King Tutankhamun's closest advisors and generals. The boy pharaoh ruled from 1,333 BC to 1,323 BC, and the discovery of his intact tomb in 1922 made headlines around the world. Additionally, during these excavations, the team also examined a nearby pyramid belonging to the first king of the 6th dynasty of Egypt named Teddy. Teddy was revered as a god in the New Kingdom, and many wanted to be buried near him. The team found nearly 300 coffins near his pyramid, many of which were in good condition. Most of the burials found in this area were from the Old Kingdom or late period of Egyptian history, but this new discovery provides a unique insight into the New Kingdom period, also called the Egyptian Empire which lasted from the 11th century BC to the 6th century BC. In another discovery, a team from the Spanish University of Malaga and the University of Jean announced the discovery of the oldest tomb in Egypt, which is oriented towards the sunrise during the winter solstice. The tomb is located in the Quebec El Hawa necropolis, about 500 miles south of Cairo. The entrance to the tomb is oriented exactly towards the sunrise and every year on the shortest day of the year, the sun's rays cover the place intended for the placement of a statue of the governor of Elephantine who lived around 1830 BC. The tomb was probably built by Governor Hekebank and was excavated between 2008 and 2018. These recent discoveries have shed new light on the sophisticated religious and technical knowledge of the ancient Egyptians. The winter solstice was significant to the ancient Egyptians, symbolizing the beginning of the sun's victory over darkness and the summer solstice usually coincided with the beginning of the annual flooding of the Nile River, 
Both events contained important symbolism related to the resurrection of the deceased. The tomb of the governor from Quebec, El Hawa, can be considered the oldest private funerary project in which a perfect alignment between the solstices was achieved, indicating the presence of individuals with highly sophisticated religious and technical training even in provincial courts such as Elephantine. Overall, these discoveries have provided a glimpse into the rich history and culture of ancient Egypt, and it is clear that the work at Saqqara is far from over. There is still much to be discovered and uncovered, and the history of this civilization continues to be rewritten with each new discovery. It is exciting to think about what other secrets and surprises the future holds for Egyptology and the study of ancient civilizations. Ancient Egyptians believe in the afterlife and the idea of rebirth and renewal. They believe that the soul of the deceased would live on in the afterlife, and that the tomb and the mummy were crucial for this process. This is why they put so much effort and resources into building these elaborate tombs and burial sites. The orientation of the tomb towards the winter solstice is a reflection of this belief. The winter solstice was seen as a symbol of the sun's victory over darkness and the beginning of a new cycle of life. This is why the tomb was built to align with the sunrise during this specific time of the year. It was a way of ensuring that the governor's soul would be reborn and renewed, just as the sun was. Furthermore, the use of advanced architectural and astronomical knowledge in the construction of the tomb also reflects the sophistication of the ancient Egyptians. The fact that they were able to calculate the position of the sun and align the tomb accordingly shows that they had a deep understanding of the natural world and the workings of the universe. In conclusion, the discovery of the oldest tomb in Egypt oriented towards the winter solstice is a significant find for archaeologists and Egyptologists. It provides valuable insights into the religious beliefs, practices, and technological capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. It also adds to our understanding of the importance of the afterlife and the concept of rebirth and renewal in ancient Egyptian culture. The ancient Egyptians had a deep understanding of astronomy and the movements of the sun. This was evident in the significance they placed on the winter solstice, which symbolized the victory of light over darkness as the days began to grow longer. The summer solstice, on the other hand, coincided with the annual flooding of the Nile River, an event that was also steeped in symbolism related to the rebirth and resurrection of the deceased. One notable example of this is the tomb of a governor cataloged as No. 33, which is probably built by Governor Hekebank. The tomb, located in the Quebec El Hawa necropolis, was excavated between 2008 and 2018 and is believed to be one of the oldest examples of a tomb oriented towards the solstices. Recent analysis of the tomb using software called Dialux Evo has established that it was built around 1830 BC. The precise orientation of the tomb towards the winter solstice sunrise as well as the positioning of a statue within the tomb demonstrates the advanced religious and technical knowledge of the individuals responsible for its construction. This discovery is particularly significant as it is the oldest known example of a private funerary project with perfect alignment to the solstices, indicating that even in provincial courts such as Elephantine, there were individuals with highly sophisticated religious and technical training. While Tomb No. 33 from Quebec El Hawa is the oldest example ever discovered, it is by no means the only one. The team that made the discovery believes that there are likely many more examples of similar tombs waiting to be uncovered providing further insight into the rich history and advanced knowledge of the ancient Egyptians. What do you think of this video? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you wish to be updated about more history viral videos, you should consider to subscribing to our channel and pressing the bell icon so we can make more videos for you. Also, thank you for watching the videos and we will see you in the next video.